Welcome. At Nor FPV, we sell a receiver that is called the Jumper R1 or R1F. It's this one here. Um, we think it's a pretty good receiver and I want to show today how you can bind it to your drone and more importantly, how you can fine tune it. I have found out that a lot of people don't know or don't use the fine tuning on the control and that is a challenge for the range of the, of the receiver. A little bit of a background history on the receiver. Uh, this is a FR Sky D16 protocol receiver. Uh, as you see, the name FR Sky means that it comes from another company or the protocol that they use is from another company called FR Sky. But FR Sky itself, they, they have made a mess with their receivers, uh, with the protocols, the versions, and you have to change the firmware and so on and so off. That's the main reason why companies like Radio Master or Jumper created their own receivers using as a base that protocol that was so famous and was so used across many uh, drones. Especially when you find these small drones like CineWoops, they have this uh, integrated receiver on the card, on the, on the flight controller, and most of the time it's FR Sky based, either D8 or D16. Uh, that's why these companies decided to create uh, standalone receivers that you can uh, incorporate on your drones very easily. The size is, this, is a small, it's this, almost the same size as a XM Plus or, a, or the other one from FR Sky, with the benefit that in the jumper's case you have telemetry on this small receiver. So let's see what we can do to bind it, how we bind it. The process is very, very similar to a regular uh, XM Plus FR Sky receiver. And we will see how we can fine tune it on the control and what changes do we need to have on Betaflight in order to make this receiver work. Okay, the first thing is to create a model on your um, radio. I'm not gonna go through that. But then once you are in the model, you have to come down to choose the protocol that you're gonna use here. <clears throat> this radio, uh, for example, is a TX16S, which has a multi-protocol inside. In the case of this uh, jumper R1F, you have to be uh, make sure that you choose is FR Sky, no FR Sky X2, no FR Sky L, is FR Sky and then D16. You have different things here. You see, you have D8, you have D16 8 channels, V8, LBT for European <coughs> FR Sky, but again, this is what. Uh, I'm saying about FR Sky, they have many different protocols and it makes the life of the user complicated. But in the case of the Jumper R1F, it's enough to choose D16. So the process now is to click on that little button there. Do you see that? And you're gonna feel when you click it, you, you have like a pushback and then you you make sure that's when you can make sure that you are actually pushing it and while push it you're going to connect the battery you're going to connect power to the drone this part is a little bit complicated with only two hats you have to hold the button on one side and, and push in the connector on the other side uh, if you have someone that helps you it will be much better So if you do this correctly, you're going to see both LEDs, green and red, on. So we move to the control and we click on bind uh, telemetry on because this receiver supports telemetry. And you will see now the light starts to blink few seconds here the remote stop to beep and now you can disconnect the drone 
and power cycle it. So now we're going to play a little bit with the fine tuning in order to see the a better signal. So you have to find the right moment where the receiver stops uh, working with the control, right? So you, you are moving your frequency and you see here, I just got back the signal. So you take note of this one as a one of the, 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 the limits of that you're gonna do later a little bit of a, an equation to find the right place. So we take the note of the seven and now we try to find the other extreme. Here in minus 122 lost. seems to be the other one. Let's check a little bit. There we got it, 119. So now you have your two limits. On one side is minus 119 and the other side it's 7. You add these two together and you get minus 112. You divide this by 2 and you get minus 56. And that should be your ideal uh, fine tuning to get the best signal out of this receiver. So now we can confirm that the drone is bound because it has a, a red solid light and I can I can do the beeper from my control and I can see that I have response. So let's look at beta flight and see what's the configuration that has to be there in, in order to make 100% sure that this works. What we're gonna do first is to go to the four tabs in order to make sure that the right UART has serial RX enabled. This allows the communication between the receiver and the flight controller. Then we go to the configuration tab and make sure that we select serial base receiver or SBUS. Then on the serial receiver provider, we're gonna select F port from FR scan. In the case of this, uh, these receivers, you can also use SBUS, uh, but without, I mean, with SBUS, you don't have telemetry. If you select F port, you can add telemetry. There you have it. We bound the R1F from Jumper to my TX60 Radio Master Control. We could fine tune it so we can get the best range out of it. And we confirm that the instructions inside the package on how the LED blinks when you're doing each one of the steps are correct. And you can follow them together with my, my video. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon.